Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm using Ryan Kingston's Armada Fleet Builder today, and I'm coming to you with a Imperial list I'm going to design. So I'm going to click here, and this one is based on the idea of using Boba Fett with a Raider, uh, and it's based on the latest FAQ that kind of clarifies that my old theory that I've always wanted to try does absolutely work. And what I'm talking about as I set this up, uh, there it is, Boba Fett. And to make this work, I need rapid launch bays. And to really make it work the way I want it to work, I need Flight Commander. And so basically, I had never tried this before, but it was a theory I've had, is that Boba Fett would work here. You would basically do your stuff with the Raider, you would move, and then after you're finished moving, you would use Flight Commander to delay your Squadron Command until afterwards, drop Boba Fett, he then activates, does a damage from his special ability, and then he can also attack. Um, now, the debate was, well, does this count as an activation? Does, at the start of his activation, he's actually off the board. But the FAQ that just came out uh, clarified that no. Um, when you're doing this, you set them on the board. Then you begin their activation. And it's a special activation in which they cannot move. So that does mean that Boba Fett's special ability is when you activate, choose one enemy ship or squadron at distance one, and they suffer damage. Now, against the ship, they're going to be able to put this on any shield they want if they just suffer a damage. So this will work really well against squadrons, uh, especially unique squadrons or like a Rhymer list or or maybe that one Intel ship that's protected by, uh, you know, by escorts or something like that. Um, and, and, and it'll work well. It'll also work really well against flotillas. And lastly, it'll also work wor really well against any ship that's on its way down. Like we've already hammered out, hammered down its shields, and now it's only got a few hull left, and Boba Fett would be a great way to finish it off. So, how can I make this work? One of the things I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want very much to be the first player. So I'm going to come in with a strong initiative bid here. Uh, one, you know, that being said, I will still pick some objectives because I'm, you never know. I've seen some people come in with like 20 point initiative bids, so I may end up being second player eventually. And if so, I want to want to make sure this guy can then go last. Um, so I'm going to try to get as many activations as I can. So if I'm going for a lot of activations, I will want. Uh, I'm going to go with small ships. I'm going to go with the trusty Architans. I'm going to add three Architans. And this is going to be the the bulk of my firepower here on these three Architans. I'm going to go with sideways. Now, TRCs are really popular for Architans. And, uh, you know, that's fine. But I'm going to use Vader as my commander here. Because... I, and I'll tell you why. I've kind of worked this list out a little bit already beforehand, but I could put ordnance experts on my ships and I could add some, you know, I'm just trying to save as many points as I can for that initiative bid. And I'm pretty sure that with Vader, he'll be good enough, especially if the Raider gets in close. I don't need the two uh, evade tokens. So Vader will be sufficient. Uh, it's nice to be able to do both, but I don't really need ordnance experts here because this isn't a black dice um, crit ship. I don't really need that crit. I'm just trying to get what damage I can out of it. This guy's just going to be a multi-purpose raider. Once he drops Boba Fett, then he can do whatever he wants. So uh, I don't want to put too many points on what may end up being a suicide ship. Uh, you now I've got the three Architans. I need to put Vader somewhere. Um, I think for this one, because I want more activations, I could add a fourth Architans. I do own... Uh, four, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I'm going to add a Gozanti, and I want to do a the more expensive, the Assault Carriers. Now, the idea here is I can attack from farther out for Anti-Squadron, but I get the red die in the front. And if I'm going to have Vader, I've, I've theorized before about running a lot of Gazanti Assault Carriers with Vader, because if they concentrate fire, that's two red dice at long range. And uh, and I can do that on all of them, so it would be a lot, you know, a, a lot of shooting as soon as we get if I get everybody in range at the same time. Um, but uh, if it's obstructed, you still lose the first die, so you wouldn't get the concentrate fire. But this is a good way for me to kind of test this one out because I don't think I've actually ever flown this one. I you must always go with the cheaper Gazanti. Uh, but if I'm going to put Vader on there, yeah, I'm going to want to ensure that he can stay alive for a little while. So I'm going to give Minister Tua. And then ECMs here. And this is a great way for, to make a Gazanti, you know, super, super tough. You know, Bright Hope is tough for the Rebels, but the Gazanti with Minister Tua can now always scatter. 
so that's uh, at least once. So that's 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 tremendous. Um, and so I've got that. So this isn't really like a lifeboat because I'm not going to fly this guy away. Um, I'm going to have him shooting. I just want to get as many activations as I can, right? So I'm at 344 now. Uh, I do have one, two, three, four, five activations, which is pretty respectable. I would like to get a sixth, but if I add a sixth, I will not be able to have squadrons. So what I'm thinking is I can go with cheap squadrons. I could probably add another Gazanti. Maybe let's go with a cheaper Gazanti here. Um, cruisers. And that would give me enough to add some TIE Fighters, but this guy isn't really doing anything. If I, you know, I, eh, you know, it, it might be good, it might be bad. What I'm thinking is I'm going to go with actually a pretty strong squadron presence. I'm going to go Howl Runner and a bunch of TIEs. Now, this will give me two things. For First thing, now this is, gives me, all right, so I'm right at 400 points right now. Um, what this gives me is this gives me six total squadrons. I'm not counting Boba Fett because he's going to be on a ship. This gives me six squadrons that need to be activated. However, I'm only going to be able to get one here, maybe two if I do a squadron command. So I can first turn, if I, everybody does a squadron command, I can have everyone just have that token. Plus, I mean, they've got a squadron value of one anyway. So the tokens will be useful. Um, but the, the other thing is, uh, you know, this, I mean, I don't know if this is optimal or not. This is really a testing build, but the whole idea is to try to make this guy work. And I don't, if I don't have a good enough squadron presence, I'm going to be totally weak. So these guys are mostly going to be for defense, but I also, you know, demoed this game so much recently at, uh, at Star Wars Celebration, and it, this was the set, was the you know, the five ties and Howl Runner, uh, you know, from the core set. And it was rolling really, really well. So, um, I'm, I, you know, I just, this is fresh in my head right now. And I think it'll be um, a, a multi-purpose, especially if you keep them kind of close enough together. And definitely for the for the Architons, I'm going to keep them close enough together. Uh, now, I did say I wanted a strong initiative bid. So one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop Enhanced Armament off of one of my Architons. So he's just going to be a normal, I'm still going to try and fly him sideways, but if somebody has to die, it'll be this guy. If I have to put one of them in a risky position, like he might be the tip of the spear, he might be the first one, uh, then that gives me a 390. This is almost guaranteed uh, to be first player, at least where I live. You know, if your local meta, and this is something that's going to depend on your meta. If everybody runs like 399, 400, I could then easily swap, switch that to turbo laser reroute circuits. That's 397. If where you live, that's guaranteed to be first player, then so be it. Or if not, I could go a little cheaper and maybe do a dual turbo laser turret. And that's 395, which 395 is a still a in where I live. It's still a good bill, a good bid, but I want to I want to lock it in. Plus, I don't think I need dirt, dual turbo laser turret re, with uh with Vader. So I've got five, basically five ships right here. I got my uh, command ship that's definitely guaranteed to survive. He'll also be doing squadron commands sometimes. Uh, you know, I, I, and it, and I'll be able to decide with all of them when I need to do squadron commands if I need to do squadron commands. Ideally, these guys are going to be for defense, uh, so so I'll try to fly everyone close together, and and then the raider will be able to, you know, he'll be able to adapt to whatever situation. If there's nasty squadrons, the raider should be able to go drop Boba right at the right spot and hopefully. Uh, and you know wipe them out and then be able to double tap with that and uh, and that you know those two black dice are really going to help there um, but now objectives I don't think I'm going to need objectives uh, but for since I've got five ships that can shoot at long range uh, opening salvos going to be a good one for that I think we're going to do fire lanes here because I've got a lot of uh, dice I can throw on objective tokens with the three architons you know and and especially with the enhanced armament too that all counts for that so that makes you know gives you a lot of victory points and then for the blue i almost always go with minefields or solar corona like almost every time um and in this case i'll just go with uh i'll go with solar corona um because i don't have i don't want my i don't want the opponent to end up having strategic and turning my minds back on me so solar corona will work there all right so that's that's the build guys um that's that's basically it. It's a oh I can do this too. I can do the printout and we can get a uh, 
yes we can actually see everything right there so that is the build five ships with testing out boba fett um wow i just realized it's written b-o-b-b-a have i been spelling boba fett wrong my whole life is he i thought he's one yeah it's b-o-b-a oh it's written b-o-b-b-a right there look at that i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to email ryan <laughs> so um but yes this is the build let me know what you think guys and uh, as always thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.